From weird fish that just don't look right, to monsters of the deep that'll make you not want to go swimming, and so, so much more. Join us as we reveal to you some of the most unusual creatures caught while fishing. Number 16. Giant Mud Skipper This first one's deceptive, because you might look at it and go, Oh, well that's just a nice little fish. But in fact, this is the giant mud skipper, a fish that rests in mud flaps across Southeast Asia. Which is fine, except when you go and infringe on their turf. Because they have teeth, and they're willing to bite you. But it can't catch me, you might be saying. Well, they honestly can. These fish can go faster than a human, so you definitely don't want one of these on your tail. Plus, this one is honestly really big, so don't go tempting fate, okay? Number 15. Sea Lamprey If you're looking for truly monstrous fish that have been caught, then look no further than the Sea Lamprey. These creatures aren't just evil looking. They look like something from a monster movie, especially when you see their mouth and many rows of teeth they have. What's important about this creature is twofold. First, they are very old. They're actually rather primitive in their makeup, which makes them honestly kind of unique. The other thing to note is that they're parasites. To the extent that they'll latch onto fish, bore through the fish, and then eat them from the inside out. In a word, gross. And don't think they won't latch onto people, because they will if you give them the chance. If you are unlucky enough to catch one of these creatures in the ocean, throw it back with haste. Number 14. Sarcastic Fringe Head Here's another monster of the deep. Because when you hear the name Sarcastic Fringe Head, you probably don't think it's much of a threat, but you'd be dead wrong. Because not unlike a certain lizard above the ground, this fish knows how to make its head bigger than what you would expect and make it seem like a deadlier opponent than it actually is. And that actually goes to speak to the rather special evolution of this fish, because it's not very long. But if it can make itself seem terrifying, well then yeah, it's going to go ahead and do that in order to ward off any predators. Number 13. Velvet Belly Lantern Shark You might think that sharks are something that aren't really caught by fishermen. But honestly, there was a time when they were the biggest catches around, to the extent that they had to be stopped because of the dangers to the population that could happen. However, some have caught some unique sharks over time, including the Velvet Belly Lantern Shark. This one is strange because they usually aren't found near the surface because they tend to be about 1,000 feet down. And yet, they have been caught by fishermen. They're called the lantern shark because they can indeed make parts of their body glow to better light up the waters around them. Number 12. Chimera Also known as the spotted ratfish, this unique creature is unique because… well look at it. This honestly feels like a fish that was thrown together at the last minute. and not something that would be found in the ocean, and yet, it is. Not only does it have a unique body shape, it's something that has teeth that are very atypical. And as if that wasn't enough, the dorsal spine is poisonous. So despite looking like a fish that won't make up its mind about what it is, it's a very dangerous fish and not something you should mess with. Funnily enough, if this reminds you of another amalgamation creature via the platypus, you wouldn't be too far off, as that one looks like an assortment of parts as well. And it too can be venomous. Number 11. Deep Body Boarfish Yeah, just look at this fish. This is the Deep Body Boarfish, and it's certainly… something. This fish is honestly as big as it looks, or in this case, as tall as it looks, and it's nothing to scoff at. In many ways, it looks like someone stretched out a goldfish just to see how big they could make it. 
Another curious thing about this fish is that it's another creature that's a deep sea inhabitant. You can find them about a thousand feet deep. And if you catch one, you're going to be in for a surprise. What honestly surprises me the most about this fish is that it has a very tiny mouth, and yet it's able to bite down on very big hooks. Number 10. Silver Tripod Fish The silver tripod fish is another fish you can't help but look at and go, that's a real thing? And yeah, it is a real thing. A very real thing, in fact. What's more, there are honestly several species of this fish that have been found and caught over the years. But as these pictures show, you kind of need to be careful because they're known to be very spiky. And that means you can get hurt if you're not careful. Plus, look at that tiny mouth. It's not something you're supposed to see on a fish, but it's there. Number 9. Frogfish Yes, there honestly is a fish that is named after frogs. And not just because of the color schemes that remind people of the backs of frogs. Rather, the frogfish is a type of fish that honestly knows how to walk on its fins. So much so that they're known to go and walk around reefs and make it seem like swimming isn't cool. They come in lots of patterns. And they've even been found on the surface with no issues. Including one fisherman noting that he caught a couple because they were found on a milk crate at sea. Crazy, right? Number 8. Sicklefish You might hear that name and think of a very powerful fish that can hurt you like you're getting cut by a sickle. But no. The sicklefish is, honestly, just another long fish you can catch in the waters of the world. Not that this is a bad thing, because they're quite unique to look at, and they can be sold to become your dinner. So if you're really hungry, you might want to go and catch some sicklefish. Seriously though, what is with these fish that are super elongated in the vertical direction? Maybe they were just tired of the other fish in the sea having a horizontal advantage. Number 7. Wolf Herring No, not a red herring, a wolf herring. Pay attention. And when you see this creature's teeth, You'll see why this creature just might be a literal wolf in sheep's clothing in terms of how it looks. Because this herring is long, that's for sure, but its teeth are numerous and sharp. One fisherman honestly thought he had caught a different species before noticing the teeth and screaming out loud because he thought he was going to get bit. So fair warning, this wolf has teeth. Before we continue showing strange creatures that have been caught, be sure to like or dislike the video. That way, we can continue to improve our content for you, the viewer. Also, be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss any of our weekly videos. Number 6. Tierra Batfish Did you think we were done with the tall fish? No, not even close. Because here, we have the Tierra Batfish, which some might confuse with sunfishes for natural reasons. But yeah, this is the Tierra Batfish. What makes their catches so interesting is that they typically aren't caught at all. They're honestly rather notorious for having an aversion to all kinds of bait, which means that most fishermen have never seen them no matter what they put on the lure. So if you do go and catch one, take pictures with it and count your lucky stars because you hit the jackpot in various ways. Number 5. Swell Shark Why yes, that is a swell shark. Thanks for noticing. Oh, you mean the species that's called swell shark. Fair enough. What makes the swell shark so special is manyfold. First of all, teeth are numerous and frightening in a way that'll make you take paws as you reel one in. Furthermore, this species of shark is known to swell their body size by gulping up air and water. Yes, that's how they got their name, and that's a very atypical trait for a shark because you rarely hear them of needing to make their bodies bigger as they're obviously quite large most of the time. However, while they are special, they're also very aggressive and ill-tempered. You know, like when they get caught on a fishing line? So be careful when you bring one in. 
Just saying. Number four, spotted unicorn fish. Believe it or not, this is a real thing. There is indeed a fish called the spotted unicorn fish, and it's one of the weirdest fish you are ever going to see, bar none. Not the least of which is that for some unnecessary reason, it has a horn. Seriously. No one is really sure why it has a horn. Even fishermen aren't sure. Especially since there's also species of this fish that don't have a horn. So why this one? Regardless of the reason, these fish are hard to catch. And if you go into the Maldives to get one, you might be in for a long wait. Number 3. Port Jackson Shark With how many sharks we've shown you so far, we might as well call this Shark Week or some spin-off of that, but we digress. These sharks are a type of horn shark, and they can be found in places like Australia. What might surprise you is that though they have teeth, they usually use them to go and crush things like mollusks, which isn't something you would think of on a shark menu. Plus, they're rather large sharks, so why not go after bigger and better prey? It's hard to say. They're usually rather docile and not very active during the day, so if you happen to catch one, it's definitely something special. Number 2. Viper Moray There are several fish in the waters that are frightening by default, and the Viper Moray are definitely on that list. Morays are a long type of fish that are aggressive, known to bite, and so much more. The Viper Moray is arguably one of the more terrifying ones because its teeth are on full display for anyone to see if you're unfortunate enough to catch them. You need to be mindful as you hold them because they're definitely going to try to get free and bite you. So in short, it might be best if you leave this fish alone, or don't, and get bit. It's not our fault you didn't listen. Number 1. Coffin Ray This is the Coffin Ray, and at first glance, you might not be able to notice that it honestly is a fish. It certainly doesn't look like one, and you'd be hard-pressed to find things that are honestly very fish-like about it. But that's actually part of the point. The Coffin Ray are very powerful predators in the water. Why is that, you ask? Because like certain other creatures, they're able to produce electricity in their bodies and give a jolt to both people and fish that are near them. They can produce 220 volts, and that's enough to cause serious harm, especially if you're in the water when it shocks you. Thanks for watching, everyone. What did you think of these odd and strange creatures that have been caught by fishermen over the years? Which ones do you personally think are the oddest or strangest of the bunch? Have you or someone you know honestly caught some of these fish during your time on the water? Let us know in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you next time on the channel.